So as far as this environment is concerned, this is just one particular stand. Um, you'll notice these footprints here. Um, you'll often find uh, people walk off the spot. So I'm standing here in the environment with a nice white background and I'm taking a front shot. We don't have holographic computer screens. So we take a set of images so that we can... S you see, if there's an issue here or here or here, we can't tell the difference because when we see the picture on the screen, there's a gingerbread man effect, flat. So this is why we'll take a picture sideways and a back shot and a front shot. Originally I used to teach um, people to zoom in and take headshots and zoom in and take front shots, but actually it's better to use the computer's ability to zoom in, you know, with the magnifying glass, and you get a much more integral image. Because when you adjust the camera in any way, you change the parameters a lot. And uh, so something you think you're onto, you, you might lose. So basically, if you have a really snazzy dazzy camera like that one, you can actually fit the whole person in the frame close up. Some of the lesser quality cameras that are still perfectly acceptable for PIP, you might end up doing four pictures um, like this. One, two, three, four. And then you lower the tripod. You never tip the camera down. You actually open the three legs of the tripod, which is why it's a good idea to mark out on the floor with a bit of tape where the camera is when it's fully extended and where the feet stand when it's in its lowered mode so that you can then um, take the leg shots. Otherwise, again, get a decent tripod which has got a, an extendable wind-up central column so you can take the upper half with the, uh, the column fully wound up and the lower half with it fully wound down and you don't actually have to manhandle or woman handle the tripod at all and that really would be the best okay now apart from that set of images I now teach people to take another set and I'm going to go into that so this is the foot stand um, this is a photograph of Professor Light's one but you can just simply draw some footprints on your white plywood board and then just repaint the plywood board when it gets a bit murky and, and trace out another set of shoes. And these side pieces here are where the back of the heel would go into as you turn around. Because what happens, as I mentioned earlier, is that people wander off the center, center line. And one thing you must always do when taking an image is line up the camera with the nose or the central line uh, on the side of the body, or the central line going down through the spine. Okay? If you wander off, you, you're going to lose significance. Now, this is why PIP is an E-ray, as opposed to an X-ray. Because it takes an expert, or someone who's trained experience, to look at the image and see what they can see. It's not possible because of the multi... Uh, the, the, the completely different body shapes and sizes to try and interpret in a computer sense what an image is showing as you can with, with the raw data.